Hey everyone, I want to share a really simple um, method how you can very easily um, set a reminder for an email. So basically to reschedule an email that you receive, but for which you don't have the capacity or the time to, to look at it and process it right now, um, but rather in the future. So let's take that example. Um, I'm a Gmail user. I'm what you see, what you're seeing here that that's um, Gmail offline. Um, that's the interface I prefer to use Gmail with. And um, so I received an email and so, sounds really interesting, um, but I don't have the time right now and I don't want to be bothered. And generally, I'm, I'm a fan of um, an empty inbox. I just don't like to see so many emails in my inbox because it gives me the feeling I have so much to do. So rather, I would like to see them later. So um, the, the service that we are using to schedule emails um, is called Nudge Mail, and it's very simple. Um, so let's say I want to reschedule this email for tomorrow because I don't want to be bothered um, with it today. So I would click on forward. Uh, I choose the email I want to, well, if you have many aliases for emails, you choose the one you want to write it from and you address your email, your forward to nudge at nudgemail.com. Very simple. And as I said, I want to receive that email tomorrow. So what I would do is I change the forward subject to the date of tomorrow. So in that case, well, <laughs> speaking of today, um, it would be the 23rd of October, 2015. That's all I need to do. This basically tells, well, well, what it basically does is it sends that email with that content below with a forwarded message to nudge mail. And based on the subject I was I was choosing, the 23rd of October, which is tomorrow, they their algorithm understands, okay, take that email tomorrow and send it back to this guy um, who sent it. So in that case, back to my email. It's so simple. I don't need any extension. I don't need boomerang or all these extensions that sort of blow up your, your system, but I just send it to someone. Um, of course, it's kind of um, in terms of sen sensitivity of the data, um, you're sending something in plain text in the read content to, to a service um, and they could just read it. Of course, yes, that, that's possible. Um, so think, think for yourself which emails you want to forward and trust to um, nudge mail. I'm not trusting them anything. I'm, I'm just taking emails that are not too personal, like like some updates, newsletters. I just don't want to see them right now. And I don't mind because they're not addressed only to me, but a mass email. So I, I don't mind sharing them with nudge mail. Um, so I click on send, bam, and I can arc, I can put it now. I can now I can put it to the archives because I was I will receive the reminder tomorrow by Nudge Mail. So that's the whole system. It's very simple. And um, I hope it was it became clear how you can potentially use Nudge Mail if you want a very simple solution. And if you have any questions or remarks, just leave a comment. Thank you.